Do you guys know how to test your spark plugs to see if they're any good, even the ones new out of the box? Well, today I'm going to show you how with a simple meter. Okay, let's get to it. I have here a couple examples of spark plugs. And this first one is pretty much a new one. Now, the way spark plugs work is your power or your spark plug wire goes on this prong. And what happens is the power actually travels through here, goes out, goes, this is actually a porcelain insulator. So this porcelain insulator, this white part, goes through here and actually you can see it in the end right there. So that is an insulator that goes all the way through. Now what you do is your spark plug wire goes on the end, your power from your coils goes through here and then comes out that little tiny tip right there. This piece is actually like your ground side. So this screws up against your block, gives the spark plug ground. And then when you have power here and ground here, you get spark between these two. And that's why you need it gapped correctly. So uh, what you always want to do is you want to get a filler gauge um, or one of those spin gap style things. Look up what they're supposed to be gapped at. So most spark plugs right out of the auto parts store are gapped correctly. You just need to make sure they haven't been dropped because sometimes when they're dropped, they look like this. If you notice, there's no gap there. So that will happen occasionally if uh, it's dropped, the box is slammed, something like that. So again, let's go ahead and test this. What you want to do to test it, take your spark plug, set it right there. Now get any standard meter, okay? What you want to do is you want to take the setting here that is ohms. That's this omega um, thing right here. And you want to turn it to about 20,000 ohms. There we go. Now, right now it's an overload because there's nothing. So if you touch these together, you should get zero. That means you have perfect continuity because ohms basically measures your resistance or continuity. So what you do is you touch this to here. This is the spark plug end where the spark plug wire would go. And then you want to go ahead and also, let's see if we can hold it on there, touch it to this tip. You should get anywhere from there, oh, there we go, 4.57. So that's about 4,570 ohms. Now, a typical spark plug, just to give you a ballpark, will go between four to 12,000 ohms if it's working like it's supposed to. So let's go ahead and test this one. We'll check this one to here. Oh, oh, now I've got nothing. So what happened on this one is it broke in the center. So that's what will actually happen sometimes to spark plugs. Um, this is an extreme condition, but this spark plug, you should all, you would all of a sudden get a miss with your car. And then this one would be working and you pull it out and you'd say, well, that plug doesn't look that bad. Well, if you test it, now obviously this would pull out. But this just shows you what's in here. So um, also, if you look at your spark plug and it has an R on it, that means resistor. So that does mean that there is a built-in resistor between this end and this end. Okay. Um, now getting back to testing it again. So here we should have about 4.5. We have a 4. There we go. Now this on the ground side, you touch here and you touch to here, you should have 0. Because it should have perfect continuity. Now, some of this can be affected by the dirt. You know, if you get dirt on your threads, you get dirt on here, you want to have good, clean spark plugs. But, but that's how to test them, and that's how generally a spark plug works. Make sure they're gapped correctly. And um, check with your factory settings, or, you know, recommended settings. Because if you do run nitrous, uh, supercharger, turbos, any of that stuff, a lot of times you have to close this gap up. 
because that stuff will blow out the setting. So anyways, um, just letting you know how to use this. Like I said, this is the ohm reading. Um, you can turn it up to here, which is this little sound. This is continuity. You'll get that if you get continuity. You should have continuity from here to here. You should never have continuity from here through this insulator. That's another way to check to see if it's bad. So again, this can happen or this can happen. So I'm Dave with Absolute Car Guys. That's how to check your spark plugs. Do your own work, change the spark plugs in your car and enjoy the ride.